worldwide. And I'm here with a little sad news from the NBA. Uh, they lost basically a tradition. Um, we've lost Craig Sager, who's been on the sidelines interviewing for so long, I'm just going to say forever. I don't remember when he wasn't there. Uh, he's been battling leukemia for the last two years. He was on the sidelines on and off, but basically off for the last few years. It was good to see him there. Um, rest in peace, Craig Sager. Craig Sager, man, we're going to miss you. You know, people who watch NBA knows how important he was to the game. Like I say, he was a tradition. He, he was an institution there. Um, I think the NBA did a good job in remembering him because for those who didn't know Craig Sager, he became famous or a little extra famous. He was already famous because he was already there. But I mean, he his, his little um, tick that he had, uh, he would wear uh, extravagant, you know, jackets, right, uh, to the games on the sidelines. And, um, you know, they were always colorful. Let's put them like that. And uh, they, they uh, paid tribute to him yesterday by all of the teams wearing something colorful, like pullovers or jackets. And I think that was very, very nice. Uh, you'll probably see more tributes to this man because, like I said, he was an NBA institution. So, again, rest in peace, Craig Sager. Uh, we love you, all of us. It's just that simple. Um, now, on to something else in the NBA that's just a little bit um, more upbeat. And I'm going to say it just straight up. Russell Westbrook is still beasting. He's still beasting. Um I'm going to give you a stat line from yesterday. Uh, 26 points, 22 assists, if I'm not mistaken. Let me make sure. 22 assists and 11 rebounds. Again, 26 points, 22 assists, and 11 rebounds. That is some major beasting, y'all. Okay? I'm telling you this again so you guys can understand that right now, you know, this is how I'm seeing it. And I'm, I'm a league passer, guys. I watch a lot of basketball. I don't miss too many games. I'm watching a lot. I don't see it all. But, again, people who know what league pass is means, you know, I'm watching whenever I want all of the games, a lot of them. So I'm, I'm watching a lot of NBA. But I'm going to say this. Russell Westbrook is must-see TV. You got the NBA, and then you got Russell Westbrook right now. I don't, like I told you guys before, it's not going to go forever because the guy's playing very, very, um, he's very active. He's doing a lot of jumping, a lot of running, a lot of sprinting. Things happen. You know, you, you, you guys know how sprinters, they pull a hamstring every second race. So, you know, things like this can happen. But what we're seeing now is something that uh, is getting to the point where it's going to be unprecedented. The man is sixth on the um, triple-double list all time after just a few years of NBA. All right. He's got uh, 50, if I'm not mistaken. And that's five in front of LeBron James. Now, remember, about two or three weeks ago, I did a video where he tied LeBron. And we're talking about LeBron. So, so most of you people who are casual NBA fans understand how how uh, great LeBron James is and how much of an all arounder he is. Well, for a guy to play 400 games less than him and have five more uh, triple doubles than he does, that can kind of give you a, a little insight of what we're seeing here. And it's 50 and still going. The next up on the all-time list is Larry Bird. That's another name everyone should know, who was also an all-arounder. He's only nine triple-doubles in front of Russell Westbrook for his career. You understand? And a 20-20 game doesn't happen. It's very seldom. Now, the funny thing about it, Chris Paul just had one about... Three days ago, if I'm not mistaken, he had 20, 20 assists, right? But he had zero turnovers. That was awesome, too. And Chris, Chris Paul handles that ball. His assist to turnover ratio is outstanding, right? That's why they continue when they're talking about the best point guards in the game. You're going to always hear Chris Paul's name because he plays defense from another planet, too. So he's, he's very, very good. But... Russell Westbrook to have 20-20 and then to put 11 rebounds on top of it is extraordinary, to say the least, right? So the reason why I'm reporting this is because, guys, 
when Russell Westbrook plays, just simple as this. Tune in because it's must-see TV. Doma Sports Talk Worldwide, and I'm up out of here.